breaking news coming in uh, regarding the former Bangladesh Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. We're learning a murder case has been filed against her. We'll just share more details with you. Uh, the case has actually been filed against her and six others over the alleged killing of a grocery shop owner in a police firing on July 19th. This is according to reports that we're just getting in. The shop owner, the person in question, his name was Abu Saeed. He was found dead in Dhaka's Mohammedpur area on July 19th. Now, we'll share more details with you, but this is the first case filed against Hasina after she resigned as the Prime Minister of the country on August 5th and fled. Let's just go over to our colleague Siddhant to understand more about the importance of this. Siddhant, highlight to us just why this is so important to pay attention to you and also tell us, uh, seeing as Sheikh Hasina has actually fleed from the country, what will this effectively mean, the filing of a case against her within Bangladesh? Well, look, uh, this has been a culture of Bangladesh that uh, if a person goes out of power, then there are cases slapped against that person, uh, corruption charges, the other uh, cases. And the same uh, tradition is being now followed again by this interim government. Now, as far as the details of the case uh, is concerned, then it's a murder case. Uh, there are uh, other accused also in the case, along with uh, Sheikh Hasina. But if talking about the larger uh, ramification of this case, I mean, look, uh, could be because as BNP has been saying in an interviews to us that they want India to send Hasina back so that she can be put on trial and the cases uh, uh, can, uh, you know, can be slapped against her and justice be done in the, in the in multiple cases. So that has been the uh, that has been uh, the demand of uh, the opposition parties uh, of uh, Bangladesh. In fact, uh, two days back, the foreign advisor said uh, that. Uh, it, uh, it will not have an impact if uh, between India and Bangladesh Hasina stays in India. But if such cases will increase, the number of such cases will increase and there would be more cases uh, uh, filed against her, then there would be uh, a time when Bangladesh could be, can put pressure on India to send her back, back so that uh, you know law can take its own course and, and she could be put on trial. So that could uh, be the larger uh, ramification of, the, of such cases, if more such cases uh, will be filed against her. Okay. Thank you, Siddhant, for highlighting these details for us. All right, with that, we are going to be drawing our show to a close. Thank you for staying with us over the last one hour. Next, my colleague Avantika will be taking over next.